let's talk about India Reed because I think it's been one of the big success stories in terms of the real estate sector. By far, I think one of the biggest real estate funds that we have. What, what's the story there? Real estate as a business for you, as a focus area for you, what's the story there? So real estate, uh, the way we are playing it is in actually three different ways we are looking at real estate. As far as uh, the parent Pyramal Enterprises is concerned, we have a private equity arm in India REIT. We also have an NBFC which is actually lending to real estate. And a combination of this I think brings in a, a better understanding of the space. Thirdly, we independently through a separate company are also developing real estate. So whereas these are all independent companies, but our understanding and of this space just increases because of this. And uh, India REIT is focused uh, today on uh, mainly residential. And we've also done recently, we've raised a fund which is doing the whole Mumbai redevelopment uh, scheme, which has been also pretty successful. We've been able to raise the funds and invest them today. So uh, it is on a steady path. Uh, the industry has gone through some difficult times, but uh, as I see, I think uh, the worst is over. And today, in some ways, there's a huge opportunity for uh, <clears throat> private equity firms to invest in real estate. That's because there is a lot of stress in the system, so developers do need money. The sources of funds have died up for uh, for uh, uh, developers because uh, banks are not uh, today funding real estate. Also, many of the foreign private equity funds where they have actually lost money in the heydays. So today is a good time for uh, India Reed to be in it. How do you see the real estate market uh, from a pricing point? How do you see it evolve in the short to medium term? Again, uh, the real estate, it's, uh, it's very difficult to generalize. Uh, so you need to look at uh, specific uh, location, uh, specific cities and locations within those cities. And therefore, in some of them, uh, there are still, it's a good demand. By and large, I would say it doesn't have the same robustness of demand as we had, say, about five years ago. That's because the economy is slowed down. People are not so confident about the future. But in spite of that, there are still pockets in cities which are good and interesting. As a developer, do you see yourself focused purely on Mumbai or do you see yourself developing a more pan-Indian kind of a... As a developer, today we are focused on Mumbai because I think uh, we need to... Uh, it is really about location, about understanding the space and I think this is one area that we know uh, and uh, there is enough opportunity over here.